Welcome back everyone. What we've done so far is to create our example file based on PhoneGap and then to create an interface based on jQuery Mobile using the Codica editor. Well, we need to further set this up so that we are on the right track. If we look in Eclipse, last thing that we did was we also dropped in our folder that we created in Codica and in there we've got some ind an index file and some supporting CSS and JavaScript files. If we edit, that is if we right click index, open with HTML editor, we have the index file here, very similar to the, the other index file. But there's some things that we need to change here in order for this to fully function. Uh, we see on line 12 a reference to a style sheet but the style sheet is found online. It's found at cloudfront.net and then at cloudfront.net we have a reference to jQuery Mobile version 1.3.1. .1. We need to fix that so that we have our own copy of jQuery Mobile right in our folder here, not on the website because what happens is it slows down whenever we load the app because it has to load external content. We see the same thing on lines 18 and 19. Again we've got a reference to cloudfront.net and then a reference to jQuery 1.9.1 .1 and jQuery mobile 1.3.1 .1, but on the web. I don't want that. And then we've got two other files, line 12 is another style sheet that points to... No, I'm sorry, we already talked about that one. I mean line 15. We've got a reference there to another style sheet, codica.extra.css, or EXT. It might stand for extra or external. But anyway, that file is in my folder here, codica.extra.css. Line 22 has a reference to codica.extra.js on the web. Instead, I wanted to point to the one in my folder. So let's change line 22 to remove the reference to the online server so that it simply says codica.ext.js, which is found right there, codica.ext.js, in the same folder where index is. I'm going to save that. And I need to do the same thing for where we've got a reference to on line 18, jQuery and then 19 jQuery mobile.js and line 20 uh, line 12 where we've got a reference to jQuery.css. Now you might be thinking this won't work. I don't see jQuery mobile.css or jQuery.css in this folder. That's absolutely true. We need to go to these websites and download our own copy and put them into our folder for this to fully function. So I'm going to save my work so far. I'm going to go to the web. And first we'll go to jQueryMobile.com. jQueryMobile.com. On the right side we'll see Download jQuery Mobile. And I'll select the latest stable version, which is 1.4.2. I'm going to click that. Depending on your web browser, your web browser might automatically download the file right away. So I'll click to open that file, and Eclipse told us it's using two files, jQueryMobile.min.js and jQueryMobile.min.css, which I see down here. I'm going to drag those two first to my desktop. And then from my desktop to Eclipse, There I see the jQuery mobile and the CSS. I'm going to drag those from my desktop into Eclipse into the Campos folder because these index this index file needs them. It asks what would you like to do? Copy or link these files? Make sure you copy. Click OK. And now they're in the folder. We need one more thing though. If I go back to 
my zip file for jQuery mobile, I also need this folder of images. This is where my icons live. So drag that over to your desktop first. It's got a lot of nice icons. Then from the desktop, drag images into Eclipse in the Campos folder. Select, of course, to copy the files. And we're done. Uh, wait a minute, not yet. We've got jQuery Mobile version 1.4.2, whereas our code references jQuery Mobile 1.3.1. So make sure you update that. Line 12, change that to jQuery Mobile 1.4.2, and line 19, change that to 1.4.2. 1.4.2, because that's what we drop into the folder. Lastly, we need the jQuery file. Back to the website. At the top, you've got various navigation buttons. The very first one is jQuery, which just takes us to jQuery.com. So go to jQuery.com. You'll see a download button. Click download. And then it asks, if you scroll down a bit, do you want the jQuery 1 branch or the jQuery 2 branch? I'm going to recommend the, the 2 branch because it's the latest version. Don't worry about why uh, this little bit of warning about why you might want version 1. It says you might ver want version 1 because it's going to work in Internet Explorer 6, 7, or 8. Well, we don't care about that because we're creating an app, so we might as well get the latest and the greatest. Under the jQuery 2 branch, you want to select Download the Compressed Production jQuery 2.1. Depending on your web browser, you might be able to click it and it just downloads. Or you might have to right-click, Save Link As, or Save Document As, or Save File As, or whatever yours says. And we're going to select to save this onto the desktop. I'll go to my desktop and I see jQuery 2.1.0. I'm going to drag that and drop that into my Campos folder again in Eclipse. Copy the file. And then we're using the latest one, jQuery 2.1.0. Therefore, line 18 should say jQuery 2.1.0. Save that. Save it run it on your device there's the index from root click enter there's my project loaded up much faster than before you you should have noticed the interface looks a little different because we've updated to the latest version And the point is that now we have local copies of our code here. We don't need to go to the web to download these supporting files. Now they're going to work right away. So very important to do. Come back. On the next video, we'll begin to further create our project.